Good morning. So guess what day today is? Hi. Welcome to my channel, My New Me, where you get to watch as I try to make sense out of the chaos that has become my life and my home. How lucky are you? Yep. It's time to clean up this disaster of a room. You won't believe this. I barely believe it. But a little over a month ago, when my sibling last took me grocery shopping, this room was picked up, dusted, swept, and mopped. And then life happened again, as it does, and this room is proof. There's just cat hair everywhere. So, if you've ever wondered if a room could explode all over itself in a very short time, the answer is yep. I don't want to do this. I have to do this. Oh, and boxes. We have boxes. We have cats. That means we have boxes. Boxes everywhere. And this pink tub is where I'm going to keep a cat. So I need to find a place to store the cat. Now don't get me wrong, a month-ish ago, there's no way you would consider this room to have been clean, clean, you know, deep clean. But it was the least presentable. And, and now it definitely is not. And we're motivated today. We're going to get this done. We even have some organizational options going on with it, which is what I'm showing you now. And maybe I'll stop just fumbling around going from one thing to the other without really accomplishing much. Maybe. Since my last shopping trip, I had the flu for about a week. Gave it to my son. He didn't like it and very kindly gave it back to me. And I had a nice little stay in the hospital for a while. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm shaking the dust off of it. Yes, not doing it for you to play with. I'm doing it to shake the dust off of it. You see that cat hair? And the dust bunnies. You know how when you're sent home from the hospital, you're given 20 pieces of paper and they all say the same thing every single time. Plus, I was put on nine new prescriptions and each drug came with five pieces of paper. Well, all of that got mixed in with mail and other important things and that was fun to sort through. The bags you see me empty in now have earned their keep lately. We had some severe weather situations, so I packed little emergency evac kits in case we had to leave. Was mainly concerned in case we lost power. Still getting down to the 30 and 40s here at night and with my health, I can't stay in those types the temperatures. No electricity means no heat. So I was prepared. And in between those two events, my son had dumped one of the bags, repacked it for me for the hospital. And of course, that just contributed to the mess. All of the clean laundry. So this basket is leaving. Yay, one part done. Well, one very tiny part done. Oh, that's I was looking for that. That happens a lot, which is one reason why my house is such a mess. I'm just going to stand here and stare at nothing for a while. And that happens too much, which is a bigger reason why the house is such a mess. At this stage, I'm just trying to get rid of all the garbage and all the stuff that does not belong in the living room. Anybody like a beer? This is why we have boxes all over the house. Hey, those are my fingers. Okay. Yeah. You stay right there. What are you doing in there? That's her puppy cat house. And that's probably the biggest reason my house looks like it does, which isn't good, no matter how cute it is. So it's sad when you have to clean, just so you can start cleaning. Yes, it's very sad. You're going to see a lot of tissues throughout this, and I, I can explain them. I have a good excuse, honest. There they are. I was looking for those. That is the mountain that has to go in the garbage, and that was just a quick sweeping. That wasn't the moving furniture or anything yet. My excuse is, well, some of this will be TMI. Some of those are actual tissues. I was sick and laying on the couch and needed to throw up and could not get up off the couch, so I ended up kind of rolling over. I half fell off and grabbed the wastebasket that I always kept under the coffee table and just dumped that on the floor and threw up in that. And that's pretty much where everything stayed. Sock. I have issues with socks. Others are napkins, tissues I would use to wipe my paintbrushes off while crafting, paper towels and tissues I would wad up and throw across the room so the kitten would chase that instead of being right in the middle of my face and everything I'm doing. And because I've become a slob, when it gets so bad you just 
stop trying and stop caring. Yes, I'm going to count the dirt piles I sweep up. Garbage piles, junk piles. That definitely shouldn't be their piles. And another sock. I apologize for how jerky this part is. For some reason, every time I tried to delete it, it would delete the entire rest of the video. So, sorry, I'm going to jerk you around a little bit. Please enjoy the kitty craziness during these technical difficulties. Socks, socks, socks. I have socks everywhere. We need to go to Socks Anonymous. I should probably explain the socks. My feet get cold, I put socks on. They get hot, I take them off. And because I'm a three-year-old, they tend to stay wherever I'm at. This kitten just loves to torment the boy cat. And he tolerates it sometimes. Other, well, <laughs> there she goes. Oh, that's better. Now you can see. And more socks. Three socks back here in a single one of the mats. I also get pretty bad Charlie horses from one of the medicines that I'm on. So I'll take the sock off the foot of whichever leg is having the Charlie horse. And because I'm three years old, it, you know, wherever I am, that's where it stays. And I'll go out in the garage and stand on the cold concrete floor. That does help the Charlie horses. Fat cat napping. Crazy kitty napping. I should be napping. Okay, back to the work. This couch is just covered in cat hair, and to loosen it, I decided to try to scrub it with a scrub brush, because when I tried to vacuum it, it, it just wasn't budging. It definitely helped some. Wasn't perfect, but it did help. I remembered that I wanted to decobweb the ceiling and walls, and it sort of dawned on me I probably should do that before cleaning the furniture. I love this tool for that. And with help, I'm going to scrub the chair too to loosen all that cat hair. Because, you know, this is very important. You really need to see this. Maybe not that important. So this was the grated Parmesan cheese thing that I did. We had emptied and I washed it. So one is the shaker, one is the pourer. So I can use the pourer for when I dump it in the washing machine and this shake onto the furniture. I know this is nothing new. I just wanted to share it. I've been doing it for decades and I've always enjoyed it. It does give it a more even coating. There's fewer clumps. I know my mom used to use a flour sifter, but I don't know. I just think this is nicer. And I love to upcycle. And another sock. I really should have been counting the socks along with the garbage piles. Maybe it would have been interesting. Probably not. Didn't I just sweep here a few seconds ago, right? Not sure what the kitten was trying to get underneath there, but it's time to vacuum. And while this did not get all the cat hair off, it did get a lot off. <laughs> Our old lady cat is just so heavy and she did not want to move. Vacuuming is pretty much self-explanatory, explanatory, obvious. This is the only vacuum I have and that's the only nozzle I have. So it would be better if I could vacuum it with a brush, but it's not an option. I could not keep my cats off of that baking soda while it was down there. I don't think it's bad for them because they recommend that you put it in cat litter, but I'm sure they aren't supposed to wallow in it like mine wanted to. They really have problems. And I was really hoping that it would de-cat stink and de-sick old lady stink the furniture. It's really cool to watch, isn't it? It's kind of neat the way that looks. And hopefully it helped. Drink an ice water. Mm. Please get more cat hair on there. Yes, because I did all that because it was fun and now I really want you guys to put more cat hair on it. I made room. There's room. Plenty of room for more cat hair. Yeah, all right. I'm doing this so I don't have to move. My desk drawers regurgitated all over the desktop. I was looking for a bill of sale and so everything as I looked through it, it went on top and that's pretty much where it stayed. I don't want to take the time now to put everything back in their file folders. A cleaning to-do list. That's important stuff. So it's all getting dumped in a box and taken out back. And the resorting it can be part of the needs list. And now everything that does not belong in the living room is out of the living room. And most of it is dumped in front of the garage door. 
So I'm going to spend some time taking everything out into the garage. So I'm not making the kitchen any worse than it was. Not bad, huh? And those scissors belong on the floor. I think they're supposed to stay there. Okay, maybe not. So I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of what my life used to be and what it has become. Let me get peeks. So do you see that right there? That's what my life used to be. How nice and organized. Everything have a place in its place. And this is what my life has become. A little bit different from that, isn't it? I'm just going to stare at that one part of the wall and pretend that that's what the rest of my world is like. Yeah, it doesn't work. And it's time to get out my notebook with all my lists. Yay! This is always the most fun part of the cleaning. As you can see, I started decorating the cover a little bit so it wasn't just that plain, bland green. And on the inside cover, I started writing out my steps. Step one was getting the kitchen livable and easy to maintain. Step two is making the living room clean trying to bring some of my pride back. I have to tell you, I really struggled with this video. I had it almost completely edited three different times. The software crashed on me, which corrupted the video, and I'd have to start all the way over again. And then it was just too long. It was like almost 30 minutes, but I didn't want to take anything out. This channel isn't just about getting the house clean again. It's also about me relearning how to take pride in myself, and how to enjoy myself. I did a lot of work and I'm proud of all the work I did. And some of the silliness in there made me chuckle. So if I get a laugh or even a tiny smile out of it, to me it was worth keeping in there. Watching all the jobs that I had completed in part one being checked off this list is just beyond exciting for me. And I can't wait to be able to finish off this list in part two. So if you would like to join me, please stop back. That will be posted very soon. And like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for stopping by. Take care and toodles.